Bitcoin has seen a major crash all the way down to 41,000, causing a lot of people to have a lot of theories. But this is what they're not telling you about this recent dump. It's time for you to buckle up. If you're new here, my name is Steve. I'm gonna help you get one step closer to that financial freedom. Hit that subscribe button right now. Throw a thumbs up on this video. We're jumping straight in. We're on the weekly chart. We're gonna cover this top price action in this line right here. We're gonna cover the legendary NVT HV, give the latest. We're gonna get the latest and greatest on the RSI and the stochastic RSI and let you in on what they're not telling you about this recent dump so you can be prepared. So we're gonna start right with price action here. This green line is the 50 week moving average, the 50 week, not the day, not the hourly, the week. Good news is here we are as support but there is some bad news. We'll get to that in a moment. The good news, support. You can see that we held support here. We held support back here in September, and we also held some support dating all the way back till June of this year. You can see these long wicks coming into this support zone, really acting as that really support, that opposite magnet, really having a, a, a really nice and soft landing on our 50 week moving average so far. Now, when we zoom out, we took a look at this 50 week, I'm about to share with you some news that might not be so shiny and with some rose petals and butterflies, right? It might not be what you want to hear, but it will be the facts. When you come to this channel, you will get the facts and you will remain level-headed and you'll leave this video feeling more confident about the situation and not panic and pandemonium and stress and fear and anger and hurt and sorrow and all those emotions. You come here to get clarity, a level head in the facts. So let me give you the facts about this 50 week because it's good we're holding support, but when you zoom out and you look at the history of Bitcoin, what you see is any time that we've come down to this 50 week moving average, it hasn't ended well. And let me show you. So back here in 2012, right, we went into a, a really, really extensive bull run. We never came close to touching this 50 week. But when we did, when we finally did in 2014, we held support, which is good. We held support, you can see these long wicks, but any time that we've actually come down and touched the 50 week, we've always subsequently broken through as we did in 2014. Let's look at the next bull run, right? The next bull run, boom, 50 week, we're not even touching it. We're like 50 week, who's that? We don't care, right? Price is so bullish, it doesn't even come down. But when it does, we held support, beautiful, and we subsequently broke through and remained below for quite some time. Now let's look at some previous price action, right? Boom, bull run remaining above. We finally touched down. And when we did, we subsequently broke through. And here we are to present day. So I hope that doesn't continue, but I do want to point out the facts. We've touched, we've held support. Hopefully we subsequently do not break through. Where is the 50 week as we speak? We're talking about about 47K, 47.5K. Keep in mind, it is rising every day, right? So that's price action, right? We've got good news and bad news. Good news, we're holding support. Bad news, not so good to hold support on the 50 week. When you're in a bull run, you're supposed to not touch it. Bullish news is the NVT HV, it's red. Now, to some of you who may be new to the channel, red usually means bad, but this actually means good. Anytime we're red, we're still bullish. You do not want to see white. In fact, if we see white, usually it means a drop of 50% or more is on the horizon. It usually measures the largest moves in crypto each and every year, but right now, still red. It turned red back when we were at about 30,000. It's still red today. What's happening with the RSI? Well, we went bearish in the RSI. Now, to folks who do not understand charts really well, they'll say, well, how can you have some things be bullish and some things be bearish? It's a great question. What you want to look for in the charts is confluence. You wanna have a lot more connecting items that are one way or the other, and you always want to be open-minded to both scenarios. Can Bitcoin go up? Can Bitcoin go down? And most importantly, you wanna understand the big picture. There are currently zero humans on planet Earth that can accurately predict Bitcoin every time. Nobody can. There's no indicator, there's no human, there's no robot, there's no supercomputer 
there's nothing on planet Earth that can accurately predict Bitcoin. So what can we do? We can look at the facts, we can look for confluence, and we can learn and grow and try to remain level-headed. The number one reason you're gonna lose money is emotion. The number one reason you'll gain money is logic and a strategy. So that's why you come to this channel. So with the RSI, on the weekly, we have fallen below our white line here, which our white line is at about 56, right? And if you look at the big picture, 10-year uh, history of Bitcoin, if we're above that white line, we're bullish. If we're below, we're bearish. It's really that simple, right? One thing we do have working in our favor is Bitcoin is in this long-standing uptrend in the RSI dating all the way back to 2018, where we had our low, our high, our higher low, our higher high, and this so far is our pivot low. This is our higher low. And we want to see this action over the coming weeks to months make a higher high, higher than this one at 94. And you may say, well, 94 in the weekly, can we go higher? Yes, we can. And hopefully we do that over the coming weeks to months, but right now we're in that bear territory. Now, back here, when Bitcoin had a cross down back on November 8th, if you watch our videos, we said, hey, Bitcoin just had a stochastic RSI cross down, price will drop and it will continue to drop until we have a cross back up. That was on November 8th and Bitcoin has fallen you know, what was it then? It was like 64, 65,000. And now we're down here. So price, it still will continue to fall until we have a stochastic RSI cross up on the weekly. It's really that simple. When I said that on November 8th, a lot of people, they laughed and they said, yeah, that's funny. You know, stochastic RSI follows price action, which is true. And both of them statements are true. Price will continue to fall until we have a stochastic RSI cross up. So watch closely on the weekly. It looks like we're trying to start the initial structure of having that cross. So what, what the summary is, you know, there's a lot of mixed signals in the chart right now, but the big picture is Bitcoin still gains on average 173% per year over its 10 year, uh, past 10 years. So that's a good sign. We shouldn't overreact to all of these little ups and downs and little swings of Bitcoin. We want to look for the major moves. And right now, there's no indication that another major move is coming. Major, major, not 10, 20, 30%. I'm talking about 50, 60 60, 70%. So those are major, right? So price will continue down until we have a stochastic RSI cross up. We're bearish on the RSI. We're bullish on the MVT. We do not want to change white. If we do, we definitely will fall below this 50 week and we'll probably stay below there for a period of time. Um, 50 week, we're going to need to pay close attention to how this plays out over the coming weeks to months. It hasn't played out very well if you come and touch this during a bull run. We have to see if we have a subsequent fall there. Now, you're probably wondering, like, should you sell? And if that thought has come into your mind over the coming, uh, the past days or weeks, you definitely need to watch this video. It's our most popular one. I'll link it down below. It's called When to Sell Cryptocurrency, Three Simple Steps. This historically is our most popular video. You definitely take a look at it right now. It'll help you tremendously and then go get your free course at our website cryptocareeruniversity.com fill this out and you'll actually have a, a free trial as well so take a look at that um, and remain level-headed that's the most important thing to do and come right back here make sure you hit that subscribe button throw a thumbs up on this video if you've never put a thumbs up before this is your video and i'll see you right back here on the next video peace and love to the fellow underdogs